Well, I consider art therapy and integrative uh, medicine already using art and psychotherapy. So I really came into this agency um, with really open, and I knew it was a holistic agency that uses different alternative medicines. So I came in with a very open mind and really a willingness to absorb everything around me and really wanting to learn. So when I first came, I of course was pretty nervous, so I didn't really know how to be with someone. So I think through my time here, I really have been able to be more confident and really being able to sit with someone. So listening and paying attention, using the mindfulness of really paying attention on purpose and paying attention to the individual, regardless whether there is art or not art. I think it did shake me up a little bit. You read, I went through, this would be my seventh year of school, and you read through the literature of all these amazing processes happening and everyone will enjoy doing art and just always having these aha moments and wonderful realizations every therapy session. But in reality, it's a longer process and not realizing that everything isn't going to be perfect all the time and it is a journey with people. So realizing that there aren't going to be results immediately um, for both myself and for patients. I really find that I really incorporate mindfulness into my life. I think I've always had that part of me, but I think being here and it really reinforces it to really pay attention to what's going on with your life and being aware of everything around you. I think just the openness of people willing to do art, um, both in individual sessions and in group settings. So people sharing, uh, participating, and I've been able to witness quite a few patients that I've been working with really grow um, throughout my time here, and it really has given me hope for the future. It goes with the same thing. Uh, art is, some people aren't that comfortable with it, so really knowing how to meet you where you're at and going with the flow maybe not people understanding what art therapy is which is understandable it's a newer field so having to explain it over and over gets a little frustrating at times but i feel like the majority of my challenges have been positives and they have been growing opportunities for myself i would really say just be open-minded maybe do some research for whichever setting because each se setting is going to be completely different um, I was very fortunate to have a pretty relaxing setting here. Uh, other peers, if you're in an inpatient unit and whatnot, it's gonna be a completely different style of art therapy, style of counseling. So really, whatever agency you end up at, getting to know um, the faculty, getting to know their theoretical grounding, and just really being open to whatever experiences will bring. Um, Again, be open-minded. I would always say, um, don't forget who you are. We each have our own style, so take that with you. But be open to sitting in with different therapists and the physician assistants and um, the doctor here because you get to experience a lot of different things that you can take and make it your own. Um, probably <laughs> something that I... I uh, have a problem with this time management, so I've been feeling this the last few weeks or months. But really, um, not procrastinating, keeping up on your schoolwork, and I feel that self-care is probably the most important out of any of it, so take care of yourself. Um, take those moments, even though you feel like you might not have time, but taking those moments out of your day to just be with yourself and be able to decompress everything. I. I personally do art journaling, so finding something that works for you. Um, I'm just so grateful that I had this experience and I have had so many people be open to having me here. So I would say like as another door closed.
closes, another one opens very wide and just be okay with whatever life takes you. Yeah. And I appreciate everyone, um, the patients and the staff at St. Clair. I will always have